This is a big Star Wars fan. She'll be sleeping outside uh, the theater tonight to get tickets, right? Can't wait. Big no, says Lisa. <laughs> She's not watching Star Wars. I don't know if there's any movie I like enough to sleep outside and wait for a ticket. <laughs> I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan. Uh, yeah, I'm a Star Wars fan, but not that. All right, uh, temperatures are hanging around 50 right now, so you certainly wouldn't call it a nice day, but uh, at least it's not snow, right? If this were snow, we'd be in the middle of a, a big storm. But uh, right now it's rain, 50 in Annapolis, 52 in Parkton, 53 in Rising Sun. And the temperatures will climb a few more degrees this afternoon, probably topping out uh, in the mid-50s. Here's the weather map. Uh, we've got a cold front coming across the mountains. You can see how the temperatures drop off behind this boundary. It's uh, 38 in Detroit. It's 60 degrees in Ocean City. When that front goes through early tonight, then the rain will shut off. But up until that time, I think uh, we're going to be wet for the rest of the day. And then going into the weekend, we're setting up uh, for at least a couple of days of winter-like temperatures. But you can see the back edge of the precipitation lined up along that boundary. So... Again, it'll take three, four hours uh, at least for this to get through. The beginning of the drive time uh, this evening at least is going to be wet, and then maybe it'll taper off after that. But solid area of rain up and down the I-95 corridor right now. Wouldn't call it heavy rain in most places, light to moderate. But uh, like I said at the top of the show, uh, the darker shades of green and yellow represent the heavier rain right now, and that's over in the eastern shore. Just light rain in the uh, western suburbs. But suffice to say, if you have outdoor plans uh, for the rest of the afternoon, rain is going to be included. And then watch what happens with the jet stream. We'll take this into Saturday morning. You see that flow coming out of the northwest, out of the southern part of Canada. And that's going to set up at least for one day a winter-like air mass. The high temperatures on Saturday will likely stay in the upper 30s to around 40. There could even be some snow flurries. And I do believe that the uh, mountains, the ski resorts out in western Maryland will get their first accumulating snow of the month. It's been uh, not a good start to ski season, to say the least, and they're going to pick up at least a, an inch or two of snow, I think, out at the Wisp Ski Resort in uh, Garrett County Friday night, Saturday morning. But that's not a big deal. But at least there'll be a little fresh powder out there if you want to try skiing this weekend. And it will be cold enough, at least, for them to make some snow as well. Uh, periods of rain during the day today, mild. The high temperatures, low to mid-50s. Winds coming out of the east-southeast wind, east-southeast at 10 miles per hour. It's easy, easy for me to say. Rain ending early tonight, partly cloudy. Late tonight, temperatures will drop back into the low 40s. Seven-day forecast stacks up like this. Breezy and chilly, but dry tomorrow with a high temperature near 47. Now, keep in mind the normal high is 45. So we've been way above that mark all month. Saturday may be the only day this whole month, I think, with temperatures below average. 39 on Saturday with a chance for snow flurries. And then sunshine on Sunday if you're going to the Ravens game with a high near 47. Back into the 50s with some rain as we head towards Christmas at the end of next week.